Right, this video is going to be on explaining how to ensure that everything is dead using the proof test proof method. Um, so as an apprentice electrician would get trained, um, they are taught to use the proof test proof method nowadays to ensure that stuff is dead before touching, before working on it, etc. First thing you might want to do is get out your non-contact volt tester and that's picking up its live circuit first thing you want to do is go to the switchboard so for the circuit I'm about to show you as a demonstration it is a lighting circuit so it would be on a 6 amp circuit breaker or potentially a 10 amp um, rewirable fuse and you can see this oh. On top of the breaker here, this one is a C16, and on top of these ones, it says 6 amp. So these are more than likely your lighting circuits. Flip them off. You don't have to do all of them, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to flick all the lighting circuits off in this house. Right, so once we've done that, we can then go test again with our non-contact volt tester it's not picking up anything that little yet orange light and that beeping is just from a bit of friction next step take it off the wall still don't touch any of the terminals yet because we're yet to prove that it's dead right now that you got it off the wall, make sure the terminals are facing you, do not touch them. Okay, so next step, get your multimeter out, put it on volts AC, and test between, well, there's no earth here because it's an old wiring setup. Uh, test between phase, between the C for common, that's usually the one that comes in from the switchboard, but you want to test between both because effectively some sometimes they get mixed up common to neutral it's showing that we're dead now what you want to do is prove that your meter works so what we've just done is we've proved that the circuit's dead but now what we need to do is test that this meter is functioning correctly so put it back on AC volts and go to a place that you know is live Seeing as I've only turned lighting circuits off in this house, I therefore know that the socket circuits are live. And so what I'll do, put one pin in the neutral, and then one pin in the phase, because there is a wee shutter in the phase terminal here, and you must put something in the neutral first, or to allow access to the phase terminal. But as you can see my meter's working, it's reading 236 volts. So now we've got to reprove that the circuit is dead. Okay, so we're back at the light switch and what we do is we go from common to neutral, nothing, one to neutral, nothing. It's dead. It's safe to work on, I should say. The best method to use is test between phase and earth but obviously there's no earth available here if you are concerned you can run an extension lead from a socket nearby and use the earth pin of that lead when testing between phase and earth I've used these for years and I love by them definitely the Milwaukee brand is a good one to go for I haven't used this one much, this one's brand new but um one of these ones are the older ones here and they've done me well I'll just snap the button off the end of it but that's why I got this new one 